that's hilarious. <laughs> and the relationship with um Sponge Daddy or what's it? Um, Sponge Daddy. Yeah, what's... Sponge Daddy. <laughs> what's Sponge Daddy? What's that sponge called? I think it's SpongeBob. No, it's like an actual sponge you can buy and do your dishes with. I think it's called Sponge Daddy. <laughs> And yeah, that's like a, hilarious. I see Jordan like losing it outside. Sponge Daddy. If it's if it's not Sponge Daddy, someone tell yeah, me yeah. what it's called. I think actually though, for a sponge company, Sponge Daddy is the best name right out there. They were on Shark Tank. Like, oh my I can't. God. I think it's called Sponge Daddy. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's great. Names should be like that. They should. Yeah. yeah. But no, I will also say, um, I work for a B two B company. There's no other way to slice and dice it. And we have influencers that we use. We have influencers who are in the space who, you know, we pay. We literally pay them to post about yep. us. And it's the same thing that the CPG industry has been doing. It's the same thing the direct-to-consumer mm -hmm. industry has been doing. And now it's happening in B2B. <laughs> and Absolutely. It's, and it's cool. And I love those guys. They're so funny. They do so much. They Their audience is so much more trusting of mm -hmm. them than they are of us. So I love it. And I absolutely think spokespeople are going to be the future of B2B as much as it's been working in the B2C industry.